Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Varför öppnar ni inte det för? Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that I say you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have chucked a light from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia sooner rather than later? As Lara's legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. What an asshole! This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. Först då. Nej, jag kan inte gå in. De stänger in. Bra. Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you.
Our knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west, our future is to the south, our past is to the north. Yeah, I'm going to the uh, man to do? Yes, uh, staff room. Lara, since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Sincerely, your uncle.
Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, I believe his experiences in Tibet have only further fueled the fire of his obsession. He's now up at all hours in his study, researching God knows what. And poor Lara, she is so confused. Too young to understand the tragedy that has befallen this great house. My dearest hope is that Lord Croft will emerge from his grief and embrace fatherhood and the love of his daughter. But I fear he may give in to his obsessive nature, that which Lady Amelia tempered in him so well. In any case, I will be a rock for young Lara. She will never sense tragedy and sorrow in me, only the love and support she deserves.